All right, guys. So what I got going on today is I got a knot. I got a really, really tight knot that's in one of my uh, one of my ratchet tie-down straps. Not just regular thin, cheap little ratchet tie tie-down. I'm talking a really heavy-duty ratchet tie-down strap. Um, I think the strap's two inch wide, and uh, not only is it a tight knot, it's actually been ratcheted with the knots in the line making them even tighter um and these are something i got from a yard sale and uh so i got out one of the knots that was in the line and i'm going to show you guys how to do it that way uh it, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier on you guys so let me throw the camera on the tripod all right so here's what we got going on. So as you can see, I got a really freaking tight knot in this strap. And uh, last guy ratcheted it with its uh, with the ratchet uh, to tighten stuff down while that knot was in the middle of the line. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this one here was actually just in a knot. And I just got that this one out with the, the method I'm about to show you. So first things first is I happen to have a, a little kiddie pool in my backyard that my dog uses in the summertime. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your knot and your rope, your strap, your whatever it is, um, paracord, um, and you're gonna simply throw it in the water. And I let mine soak for about uh, I don't know, I probably left it in here for about 15 minutes and uh, before I came back and started working on it. Um, next thing I did is I happen to have a couple pieces of wood, um, some firewood. Uh, you could use, you know, your, 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 your patio is your base. Um, if you have a cement patio or, or sidewalk or anything, and uh, for the hammering action part, you could literally use a hammer. You could use, um, I don't know, you could use anything, a pot, a brick, a, a rock. You can use anything. Um, it's just to kind of work that knot a little bit looser. So after your knot soak for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, something like that, um, you can kind of start to twist it a little bit, see if it loosened up. Maybe you don't have to hit it if the water worked. In my case, not a chance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my knot right on my block of wood, take my other block of wood, and I'm gonna start hitting it. And as I hit it, I'm gonna rotate it around and just kinda start working the knot looser and looser as I rotate it. So I can actually see the knot moving around and the line moving. And so I'll pop it back in the water and then I'll see if I can work it a little bit. And I'll grab and I'll twist it and I'll push it into the knot. And if I'm not getting anything, I'll go to the other side. Grab it, twist it a little, push it into the knot. Reverse, twist it the other way, push it into the knot. Go back to the other side. And I'll just sit here and I'll work this knot. Dip it back in the water. And normally the first time, it didn't really move much for me. And so I'll pull it back out, start hitting on it again. Back in the water. Uh, that one I could tell it loosened. I could just feel the knot got much looser on that. Ah uh, yeah, see, I'm already starting to be able to wiggle it right there. I know it's hard to tell because I got all the shadowing from the bushes that are around me. So it makes it kind of hard to see, but 
I can feel it loosened up a lot on that last on that last little pounding. So I'm just sitting here working it back and forth, going from one side to the other side, grabbing the knot, pulling it down. Oh yeah, I can feel it moving there. Might come out right here without even hitting it on the third time. Get it wet again. Yep, I'm not even gonna have to hit this again. And there she goes, she just loosened up on me. And there it is, boom. For incredibly tight knots, all you gotta do Soak them in water, bring them out, set them on something hard, and use something hard to hit the knot, rotate it around, dip it back in the water, go back and forth a couple times, and you'll get out darn near any knot out of anything. <sighs> All right, guys. Hope that helps somebody out, and, uh, you know, good luck.